So as you can see, I'm in GPT-4 with my model plugins enabled, and you can see that I have this plugin enabled in this chat. I say, please run Pi ATS answer, which brings up this little bubble, which indicates that it's actually using my plugin to answer this question. And we can hide this, but if we don't hide it, this is the payload from the plugin. Pretty cool, right? And then this is what the preloaded Pi ATS answer, right? I'm going to tie this back to the file. This description for the model is what was triggered with this natively. So it gives us this nice summary of the JSON. Now check this out. Did you highlight any IP addresses in the payload above? And it found this IP address. Pretty cool, right? Now I could say, could you give me a CSV version of the, of the JSON? All right, let's try that. And there we go. So there's the CSV file. I could copy and paste that right into VS Code. Point is, is I'm interacting with the API data right in GPT, and I can do anything I want. I, and let's do some more examples. But this is fun, right? I could copy that code, hop into my editor, and make a new file that's a CSV file, paste that in, save it as right example, and then we could preview it. And there is the CSV file, right? And that's just one example on the fly. Now, we can do lots of things, right? Can you, can you give me a list of interfaces that are down, right? Like this could be hundreds of interfaces and it just knows and it's putting them in bold, the interfaces that are down. We're gonna develop your own plugin localhost 8000, manifest file, install, make sure it's installed. And now I need to invoke PyETS answers. There we go. Use the new plugin to run PyETS answer. So here's all the data that we provided it. And it's going to give me an automated answer because I'm seeding it with the, you know, the, the, server information here, the model, excuse me, description for model. So right away, just because it triggered it, I have all this great data and it's giving me right, the summary from the show interfaces on this device. And it's going to, right? So now I could continue to prompt this data. And look, it's picked up some errors on a couple interfaces without anything else, output loss carrier on two and three indicates interface has detected a loss of carrier signal, physical interfaces, right? And I could say, are there any other important details in the counters per interface? And now here, it's going to give me, <laughs> like it's remarkable, look at this. Just from a prompt, are there any other important details in the counters per interface? And here, it's going through the JSON data that I'm chatting with directly. And I've done two examples, and this goes on and on and on. We 